Hey guys, welcome back to Diana Marie TV. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Dim Bulls. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any new content from my channel. So Zion Williamson has officially declared for the NBA draft and what better time to upload this video talking about the potential of getting Zion if the Bulls did get the number one pick. So I have been holding out on making this video about getting Zion just for the simple fact I do not want to get my hopes up but just thinking about having Zion, Zach, Wendell Carter Jr., Otto, and Lori, it is worth getting excited about. So let's get into some of his strengths and his weaknesses and to see how he would fit on the Chicago Bulls if the Bulls did decide to get him if we got the number one pick. So starting with some of his strengths, Zion is 18 years old. He is six foot seven, 285 pounds, and has a wingspan of 6'10". Zion's frame is really worth discussing just for a minute due to the fact that he is built like a football player, a linebacker to be exact. And he is still out here dunking on people, dunking from the free throw line, and playing great defense and chasing down his opponents up and down the court. What is crazy about all of this is that Zion is not done growing yet once he gets in the NBA surrounded by sports doctors and he's able to work with elite trainers his body and his game is going to transform even more during his season at Duke Zion averaged 22.6 points 8.9 rebounds and 2.1 assists according to ESPN stats and info Zion became the first freshman scoring over a hundred points in the NCAA tournament since our hometown favorite Derrick Rose in 2008. There's no doubt about it. Zion is one of those athletes that if you get the chance to get him, you should take him. Watching him at Duke, he definitely reminds me of Blake Griffin, Larry Johnson, Sean Kemp, and Charles Barkley. Besides highlight reels and dunking on players, one of the best things about Zion's game is his ability to play excellent defense and the Bulls definitely need that. He's a great passer and having him on the team would give Zach and Lori the ability to shoot more and that's it. The combination of Zion and Wendell Carter would be great to see and have, having two great defenders who would be a serious threat to other teams. Now, obviously focusing on one of his weaknesses is his shooting. His shooting is a main topic of conversation when it comes to Zion. Zion would need to work on his jump shot and working on his release. While at Duke, he shot 24% from the three-point line and 63% from the free throw line. But Zion could also be a player like Giannis who is not an excellent shooter but does everything else well and has a dominating presence on the court. Now obviously, if the Bulls got a player like Zion Williamson, they would have to make him fit just for the simple fact they don't really need another power forward or a center they have been very vocal about getting another point guard so what I'm assuming what would happen is that Chris Dunn probably would stay on a team if we weren't to get John Morant or a player like Darius Garland they would probably go out and get a veteran point guard like Patrick Beverly or Derrick Rose but obviously this is all hypothetical because we have to wait until May 14th so that is it for this video make sure you guys leave your comments below about Zion I know a lot of you guys are team Zion if I left anything out about comparisons or any of his strengths or his weaknesses leave your comments below make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching